Hey yeah, so today I'm going to teach you how to get rid of the annoying Sora 2 watermarks that appear on every single video and you, you're trying to generate content. So today I introduced this tool which can run locally and you can get, you can drag and drop so many videos like this. Select your output folder and just the processing and all the watermarks will be gone. Easy like this. So yeah, this is the video before processing with Sora what marks and this is how and this is how it should looks like after we process it and remove all watermarks. So with that being said, let's begin the tutorial. So yeah guys, for this lesson, I will provide you step by step how to follow this tutorial. It's very very easy and you can get this up and running with just following me for 5 minutes and just do what I'm gonna do and it's so easy. I promise. So yeah, the first thing you create a, a folder, you need at least five to 10 gigabyte of space for this folder. And then you're going to go to this repo where I already provided step by step how to set up this, but I'm going to explain it live for you as well. So yeah, we're going actually to follow this tutorial here. So you go to your folder and then you click right here and type CMD. So you can open the terminal inside this directory. So yeah, this is the first step. The second step, we you need to know what version of CUDA we have. So we need to copy this command, NVIDIA MS key, and then this will tell you what CUDA version. Here I have 13.0. So for this, I provided you with a table that you're gonna know all the PyTorch versions that are compatible with each CUDA version. So this is very, very valuable. Uh, a data because if you want to uninstall other application this table is gonna help you a lot so you you can start this repo so you can save this for later so yeah we are not using any command from this yet but we're gonna get back to this the next step here we are going to clone the repo so we're gonna type get clone and repo url after waiting for that, it just takes three seconds. Then we are going to, if you see here, there is a folder created. Then there is the file inside it. So we need to go inside that folder by typing CD so our watermark removal. And after this, we need to install Python 3.12.6. So this is the URL for it. And we are going to go down, then click on Windows and installer 64 bits. With the installation has been complete, we're gonna click this and just install it like normal software. So I have this uh, already, but I'm going to repeat it for you. So you're gonna uh, check all of those, the pip, installer, and everything just like this. And then the important part, you're gonna check this add Python to environment variables. You need to check this. Then you are gonna click and start. I think the idea is clear because if you don't add Python to the environment, you need to add it manually or it will not work and your system won't detect it. The next step, we are going to create a Python environment using this specific version. So yeah, if, if you have other Python versions, it doesn't matter because we are using 3.12 version exactly. So we're going to create this virtual environment and then we're going to activate this virtual environment by typing virtual environments slash scripts slash activate. And if you see this virtual environment in parentheses, so you are good. This means the environment is already created. As you see, there's a folder created here and everything is going to work just fine. So yeah, here we can check the Python version. So we make sure we are doing correct. So as you see, this environment created uses Python 3.12.6. Moving to the next step, we're gonna use this command to upgrade pip. We are going to do this for avoiding uh, issues in the future. And then in this step, we need the table that I talked about earlier. If you have CUDA version 13, like uh, you're gonna use this. So yeah, I'm going to use pip install and b12.12 for and hit enter this is going to take some time if you are installing it the first time it's about 2.4 gigabytes also if you don't have a gpu this is not a problem but at least you need to have 32 gigabyte of ram so if you want to work with cpu you just need to install pit install torch torch vision and torch audio just like that but take in consideration that when using cpu it's much slower so the step seven we're gonna check if everything is good by 
by copying this command, which is going to check if our PyTorch version is working or not, and if the GPU is actually compatible with that or not. So pasting this command, we got this output, CUDA equal true, and the GPU name, I have RTX 3060. So we are good. So then we're going to install some dependencies. We're going to install NumPy and some other dependencies. So yeah, and then we're going to install the rest of the libraries. So yeah, after we installed that, we're going to install Thinker DND2, which is basically will make our app super drive and drop feature. The next step, and before downloading Lava models, I just added this uh, step so we can fix some uh, issues in the packages, but we need first to uninstall all those libraries and then install the correct version of them one by one. Uh, don't care about this error, you just it dependencies it is on but the actual library is installed then you're gonna install diffuser library after that you're gonna install eo paint after that when you're gonna download the llama model it's downloaded successfully for me i already have this model the last step we're going to verify our work and check if everything is correct or not so yeah as we see here all prints are imported and everything should work just fine now we don't need the terminal anymore we're just gonna open our folder and as you see here we have bunch of files so if you want you 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 can right click this uh, file launch.bat and then click see more options if you have windows 11 and then send to desktop so you gonna have a shortcut for this application but if you want to run it immediately from here or just double click it there is a terminal will open and you have the GUI interface. Uh, please don't close this terminal because if you close it, the actual software will close with it. So yeah, you need to minimize it and then use your app normally. So yeah, here we can drag and drop files, uh, select our output folder, and then you click start processing. Actually, this app uses use 12 gigabyte of VRAM. You need to have this configuration or you need to have at least RAM that be dedicated for the CPU. The GPU can share it, but when this happen, the process, the, the GPU speed will slow down because the CPU is gonna slow down the GPU. And this is will cause uh, this process to take much longer. So yeah, you need to have at least 12 gigabyte of uh, RAM so you can use this effectively and with full speed but if you don't uh, and you don't mind actually waiting so yeah the cpu the cpu can work for you so yeah guys this is the end of the video i hope you enjoyed it and i hope this uh, works for you please leave a like and subscribe we'll appreciate it so yeah see your next episode